Okay, I'm in the highway, and look what I got in the back seat. Yeah, so cute. Yeah. Emma, we're gonna have a little chat with somebody here. And what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, we're just leaving it at that. Okay, Sarah, you're you're in the in, in the armed, armed forces? Yes. How long are you serving the armed forces? Uh, it'll be 11 years on January 6th. 11 years? My God, you don't look too uh, stressed out. <laughs> I joined at 16, so. <laughs> 16. And when they say there's no life like it, they're not kidding? No, they're not kidding. No, no. And you were in Afghanistan? Yes, I was. I just returned in September from my second tour overseas. Did uh, did you knew that female that got killed? Or she was from Quebec? No, I didn't. No? Isn't it rough for a female to be in Afghanistan, especially Afghanistan, where women got no rights? And um, as a Canadian Forces member, I didn't find it any more difficult than my male counterparts. Um, we're all treated pretty equally. Sometimes some of the locals uh, found it a little harder to talk to the females, but um, I worked in the market school one Saturday, and uh, we had all the little boys from the surrounding villages, and... Um, the little boys were a lot more receptive to uh, women telling them, you know, hey, let's go play this sport, let's do that. Um, the little kids are, I think they're really starting to make a difference in the opinions um, of the men in Afghanistan. But unfortunately, little boys change into big men. That's true. And then they can't stay little boys. If they stayed little boys, we wouldn't be in this mess <laughs> that we're in now. So you think there would be, be peace there? I think that with um, with the right techniques, I think there definitely could be. Really? The people uh, there are really uh, genuinely nice people. The corruption and everything, that, that's been going on for years. I personally um, didn't really, in the job that I did, I didn't see much of that. Um, I dealt more with, you know, the, the locals at the that would come into the camp at the market and uh, with the locals who worked on the boardwalk in the camp and um, all of them were always quite nice and you know it didn't matter if you were a man or a woman you know we were all soldiers that worked there and they were all very fair to all of us would you go there again i would in a heartbeat how come what are you nuts or <laughs> maybe a little <laughs> no um don't you have a life uh, you know <laughs> i do but um i really enjoy feeling like i'm doing something to help to help the world it's different to work there than it is to work here at home. I guess you get a more of a sense of an accomplishment for doing a job overseas, more so than doing the job here in Canada. Makes you proud to be a Canadian, huh? Definitely proud to be a Canadian. We're a bunch of whiners, huh? <laughs> no way. I'm gonna go home and shut down my blog. I mean, we're so, we got it made here compared to uh, we really do. Afghanistan. We really do. Sarah, Merry Christmas. Thank you. And uh, good luck. And I hope I don't hear no Sarah being killed in Afghanistan. I doubt it. <laughs> That's good. Talk to you later. Thank you.